Hi everyone, it's Amanda Fitter here. Today I'm designing for Dress My Craft. I'm going to make this really cute DIY mini album and I'm going to use the My Superhero paper collection from Dress My Craft. This little mini album has little side pockets and top pockets and tags and I'm so excited to show you how to make it. First I am going to flip through the mini album so you can see what we're going to be making. You can see I've created some top pockets and some side pockets, all these punches, and then it all ties together with the baker's twine. So for anything that I'm going to do uh, on a regular basis, I like to create a template for it. So that's my template. It has the instructions of where to score and where to cut. So I'm going to score my 12 by 12 paper at 3, 6, and 9. And as I'm looking at this, I can see that it's actually a little bit bigger than 12 inches, and I need it to be perfect. So I'm just going to trim off, it's probably like an eighth of an inch um, on each side to make sure that it's perfect. And um, if you don't do that, then your mini album will not line up perfectly. So just make sure you double check before you start doing this, especially before you make any cuts, because then it gets a little bit tough. So I did three, six, nine, three, six and nine, and now I'm going to do four and eight after I turned it 90 degrees. So now I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to use my guide to see where I need to cut it. I'm going to flip it over on the white side so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, so I'm cutting about three quarters of the way. I didn't want to cut too far so I stopped it a little bit before where I need it to be and then I'm just going to use my scissors to cut it all the way to that fold line. So now I'm ready to start folding this. Now you can use double sided paper and then the way that you fold it won't matter at all. I'm folding it so that my front cover is white because that cover is actually going to be up against the cover of my whole album. So it doesn't matter if it's white, it's gonna look weird at first, but then once we put the cover on, it's not going to matter. So I'm just folding accordion style and making sure that I line everything up every time I fold it. I'm making sure that each corner is meeting up properly. If you did something wrong and there's a little bit of extra on the top or the bottom, you can just use a trimmer or an X-Acto knife to cut that off. So now I'm ready to start creating my pockets. This is the quarter inch scalloped circle punch from Dress My Craft. And I'm using that so that my tag is easier to get out of the um, pocket. And then I'm going to use some score tape to make the actual pocket. So just remember when you're doing this that you want to get as close to the edge as possible because however big your tape is and however far it goes into your pocket, that's going to make your inside tag even smaller. So I'm trying to put it as close to the edge as I can and that will give me more room inside. So now I'm lining that up and now you can see that it's a pocket. So next I'm going to create a side pocket. So I'm just using a circle punch. And then I'm going to grab my score tape again. And you can really use any double sided tape, it's just that the score tape is super strong. So when you're doing something that's going to be handled a lot, I like having a really strong tape um, to hold it all together. So now when I close this up, you can see that I have created a side pocket, and I'm going to do that for all the rest of the book. So now that I adhered all the rest of the pages together, I am going to create my cover. I'm choosing this, this is also from the My Superhero paper collection, and I'm cutting it down to 6.75 by 4.25. And then I'm going to score it at 3.25 and 3.5. And that'll create a bigger spine so that my whole my entire album with all the stuff inside of it can fit in there. So now I'm going to adhere my pages to the cover and I'm going to use score tape again. And also, while I'm doing this, I'm going to attach the baker's twine that will 
be able to be tied and hold the whole thing together. So I'm grabbing red, yellow, and blue, and I'm just cutting them all to the same length. And then I'm going to cut an another set for the back. And then I'm going to use my score tape to hold it in place. And once I got all the tape on there, I'm going to adhere it to the front cover. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the back cover of my album. So now I'm ready to create some tags for inside my pockets. So I'm just grabbing some more paper and I'm trimming it down. And I'm going to use a rounded tag punch to create this tag and twi tie some twine onto it. Now I'm grabbing my rectangular tag punch and trimming that down. And then I can add some baker's twine to that one. And I'm just checking to make sure that they fit in my pockets because of that double-sided tape that's inside. Now I'm going to um, cut a piece of paper down to size to fit on the front of my album. And then I'm gluing that on with some liquid glue. I have fussy cut some of these images out from the motif sheets and I'm going to use them for the front of my album. I'm using 3D squares to pop them up onto the front of the album so that it gives it more dimension. And once I'm finished with the cover, I'm going to do the whole rest of the album.
And that's it. It's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It does take a little while at first to realize how the template goes together. But then once you make one, it's so easy to just keep on making more. So I hope that you take the chance and try to make this album. Thank you so much for coming by and watching this video. I hope you have a great weekend. Until next time.